Hello there, uh, CES 2018. Um, I am at the Venetian for the hi-fi section of the show, and I'm right at the top with Cord Electronics, and I am in the company of Rob Watts and John Franks, who are pretty much in charge of the whole show, and the cutest deck is here, and who better to explain it than these gentlemen. So I'm going to hand over to them, and we will see exactly what makes this device tick. Hi, so this is Qtest. Um, the design objective with, with QTS was to use all the technology that was in Hugo 2, but to design it as um, a DAC only unit. So it's an update to the 2 Qt, which was very successful for, for oh, Core, right. wasn't it? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, uh, um, so we've got everything that's inside the original Hugo 2 is inside the, the QTest. What we've also done um, is that it will adjust the output voltage to suit different preamplifiers. Because um, I was rather surprised to discover that a lot of different preamps had sensitivity issues, it was overloading various inputs. So when you power it up, if you press these two buttons together, you can set it to 3 volts or 2 volts or 1 volt, so you eliminate that, that issue. The other refinement that we've got it um, with this device against Hugo is because it's intended to go into a fixed system where everything is grounded, it's going into a preamplifier, then you need the galvanic isolation on the USB. So we've got the galvanic isolation installed onto it. It's also got dual BNC on, on the inputs. Um, this means that you can connect it straight to an M scaler, um, which is on the Bluetooth. Um, and that gives you future upgradability in the future for when M scalers come available at a, at a more modest price. Um, so yeah, we're very, very happy with, um, with the way it's turned out. And I'm actually really happy with the way it looks because I think John's done a, a, you know, an amazing uh, metalwork design. It looks very sexy. Yeah, I mean, talking about the metalwork design, um, as such. It's pretty heavy. Um, I, I, I realized that uh, with the original 2 Qt, we actually start off with exactly the same aluminium billet that we machine away. Obviously, what I decided with this product is, is that um, we, we will actually make it far heavier than the original Q, two, um, uh, 2 Qt. Um, th this this is really, um, it, it, it's because um, in, in many cases people wish to put on rather thick and bulky cables. I mean, the original 2 it it almost was, was lifting off the desk sometimes. So I, I really wanted to, to, to make sure that the product was firmly grounded on, onto any desk. Um, so uh, that, that was uh, one point. But, you know, I soon realized that actually uh, by not machining away as much material, um, it, it actually uh, it, 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 it's good for the electronics and it's, it's good for, for, for everything really. So I, I, I um, also squared up the styles to make it. Um, I wanted the similar to it to, to have similar des design features uh, and, and, and design pointers um, uh, that, that that could be seen in um, Hugo 2 because obviously the the the, the the qualities of Hugo 2 um, are, are, are it, it's very important. I I, I feel to, for for people to know that they're actually getting exactly the same DAC um, as in as, as in Hugo 2. But so of the, course the, the code that's in the FPGA is identical to the code within Hugo 2, but of course the cross seed function and those kind of things have been stripped out. But it is exactly the same, um, and the ten element pulse array DAC is is also exactly the same. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, very beefy, very chunky, um, very well made. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you ever so much, gentlemen. Thank you.